Are you having second thoughts about a networking group you just paid to join? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to handle those thoughts and what to do in the next step. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey there, my name is Matt Ward and I help service-based business professionals get more word of mouth referrals in their service-based business through professional speaking, coaching, and online consulting. Now, in this week's video, I'm going to talk about what to do if you feel stuck with a networking group that you just paid to be a part of. But before I do that, I want to remind you that I've got two great books out on Amazon, more word of mouth referrals, lifelong customers and rating fans, and the high five effect, how to do business with people who bring you joy. Now, we talk about both these books every month in my group online coaching program, which you can check out at buildyourreferralengine.com. You can find the link in the description and in the comments. Now to this week's topic, which is specifically, are you having second thoughts about a networking group that you just paid to join? The reason I had this on my list of videos that I wanted to produce for people is because this actually came up with a consulting client of mine. They were concerned after having just joined a group that the group wasn't going to work for them. And they had already invested actual money in the group. Now, this is a turning point because if you're already feeling this way, you have a choice to make. It's a time trade for money, basically. You have to decide if it's worth the investment to invest the time to stay in a paid group. First of all, let me be very clear. You should never join a paid group unless you're intending to stay a full year. I don't care how long the membership time frame is for. You should always have the expectation that you're going to stay a minimum of a year. Things take time to work. Relationships take time to build. Um, you're not calling these people every single day. And so it's hard to accelerate that time frame. So you should have an anticipate, you should anticipate staying in a group for a year, but let's just say that you joined a group and now you're concerned and you're thinking about leaving. I'd like you to reframe that and start to say, is there value here if the folks here can end up referring me? If the answer is yes, then invest the time. What I recommend to my clients is that if it's a weekly networking group, that each week after the meeting, they set aside one hour and one person meets with them every week. But this is referred to in the industry as a one-to-one -one. coffee meeting, lunch meeting, whatever it might be. You reserve the block of an hour for after your meeting for this specific purpose. Then each week in advance, you are scheduling the next person out. So you're talking to Jane Doe and John Doe and Bob Jones and and, and, and Bill Smith and those, and you're lining them up three and four weeks out so that you know what's happening. That way, if somebody cancels on you or needs to reschedule, you can backfill that as well. You're consistently meeting with people in your group. This is how you, one way that you make your group effective. You need to remember that business is not transacted at the actual group meeting. Yes, you exchange referrals, you might exchange slips and, and track this information, but you're not actually doing the work of referring the person at the meeting. That is done in between meetings when you have an opportunity to refer someone or when they refer you. And so it's important that you get with these people in the group fast and educate them on who you are and what you do. If you are considering leaving a paid group that you just joined, I encourage you to recommit yourself to the group, double down. If you have questions on how to do this, reach out to me through social media, through email. Uh, all my contact information is, is in the description and in the comments. Reach out to me. I'll, I'll help guide you through this process. But recommitting your mindset into this group is the right way to handle it. That's what you should do if you just joined a, a paid networking group and you're struggling with the referrals and you're concerned about what you're going to get out. I hope that's helpful for you. Again, let's carry on the conversation. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell on YouTube so that you don't miss a single video I put up on the channel, which happens to be every single week. And until next week, don't forget to live happy, 
smile a lot, and high five everyone around you.